Each year, we welcome thousands of nonprofits to the Nonprofit Technology Conference. This year, the 12 NTC will be held in San Francisco on April 3rd through the 5th. Learn more at n10.org forward slash NTC. Or if you can't join us in person, find out how you can still connect, learn, and change the world at the NTC online. Learn more at n10.org forward slash NTC forward slash online. We've put together a series of video podcasts featuring just a few of the more than 100 sessions at this event. Today, we're talking to Scott Linger of Beacon Fire Consulting, who will be leading the session, Engaging Mobile Design. Tell us about your session, Scott. My session is called Engaging Mobile Design, and we're really just going to look at all of the different ways that uh, mobile design is, and mobile itself is changing the web mm -hmm. um, and the content we put on it. And what, as nonprofits, we can do with that. Why do you like developing for mobile? So why I'm drawn to mobile is that there's a lot less, as a, from a developer, there's a lot less headache. So we don't have to deal with browser quirks and Internet Explorer 6. They don't exist. You don't have those kinds of issues. There's a few sort of quirks, um, but because, um, you know, Android and iPhone both, Browsers are built on WebKit. Um, they're sort of working from the same foundation. And they're the vast majority of mobile devices out there. So it's it's like great unicorns and rainbows. And you just sort of, it's this beautiful place to develop because everything just sort of works the way you want it to work. And CSS3 works for the most part. And, you know, it's just great. And you can just write your code and you don't have to Google all these problems when you're done. And What are the advantages to developing a site for mobile? So we've got a few sites that use Convio's Team Razor thing, which is so there's different events in different geographic locations. And on a desktop, generally, we just offer sort of a drop down and you have to go either click through a map or use a drop down and find your events. And with mobile, you can actually grab where they are a little bit easier and just show them events nearby. So it's a little more engaging to say, here's three events within 20 miles, pick one, rather than you know go through all these steps. Do you need a mobile and a desktop version of your site? Sort of the same thing back when you had you know, the Netscape and the Internet Explorer versions and you'd fork it. And it's sort of the same thing because you're still just creating a lot of extra work. And there's some you know, considerations you need to have where you do want to serve different content to different devices. Um, but the whole binary approach is a little, um, just a little much, sort of over the top. Give us an example of the exciting future of mobile. They just had Social Media Week here in DC, and there was a lot of discussion on moving beyond just using social media to broadcast so the idea of pushing but being able to pull from that so say you're you know a health organization and you know someone uses twitter to authenticate onto your site or they have a twitter profile that you can sort of identify them through you can grab their tweets and see so say they've have a family member with hodgkin's lymphoma or something you can sort of grab that info and you know, fine tune the content you provide for them using information that they've produced themselves. So rather than just saying, here's our press releases, here's our stuff, you grab their info and help them find what they need a little easier. Mm -hmm.